The cold can be especially hard on the residents of South Dakota's Indian reservations, where resources are sometimes limited and travel is difficult. Kelloland's Tom Hansen reached out to tribal leaders to see how they are dealing with the dangerously cold weather. 511 cameras show there isn't that much snow south of Mission. But at the time of this picture, the temperature on the Rosebud Reservation in South Central South Dakota was nine below zero with winds of almost 30 miles an hour and climbing. East of Pine Ridge, the camera shows decent visibility, but again, the real danger is the wind and the bitter cold. Something Oglalo Sioux Tribal President Frank Starr comes out says his staff has been preparing for. He says every day they are getting calls for help. We try and uh, help them in, in any way we can. So uh, it is tough. Does that mean sometimes relocating them or uh, <laughs> trying to get them wood or propane or? Well, most most districts, um, we have a uh, service center um, where uh, in weather like this, we open it up for the families or the homeless that uh, don't have shelter. Um, we open the doors for them. We provide uh, uh, them a, a, a temporary place to stay. Star comes out, says last year, the reservation declared a state of emergency. And one of his priorities this year is coordinating the various agencies on the reservation to work together better. Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. And we also spoke with Crow Creek's tribal chairman. He told us that they have opened up the tribal gym and he expects about 30 families to stay there tonight. The homeless shelter is already at capacity, so they have set up a tent with wood stove inside to get them through the worst of the cold. All right.